So I've got the plot. Oh, it's a deer. Let me do quick menu. Buildings. Houses. Provides a safe place to sleep. Has the stone campfire and the cauldron inside. That's nice. Look at this dude. If I had a bow and arrow, I'd light him up. Let me drop so logs. Drop all of those. Let me drop all of my sticks. Drop all of my stones. Oh, I need straw. Don't roll. Nope. Stay there. There we go. Guess when I have everything in my inventory that I need. Let me grab these because they're going to roll away. I'll just be able to build it. So I need to find straw. Where would I find straw? Straw. Even this music sounds kind of Witcher-esque. It does. Uh, very, very much. There. I keep mistaking it for that. No, no, no. no I almost sang the Harry Potter theme. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I just got straw. It's from the weeds. There you go. Reeds. I said weeds. Oh, a building menu can be accessed through the creation menu. Select the buildings you wish to construct and find a proper place for it. Structures cannot be built too close to other villages and require a relatively flat surface. To fully construct a building, you'll need a hammer equipped. Okay, so I'll need my hammer equipped. Oh, you can choose the materials you want for each, um, each wall. So let me get my hammer out. So, tools, wooden hammer, three, stone pickaxe, four. Okay. Now watch, I've probably lost my house. Let me go ahead and eat first. Food, apple, oh, yeah. F, eat. Eat. Apple. Yep, there it is. Nice. Alright, so I think three was my wooden hammer. Take logs, take stone. All right, simple house foundation. I need more stones. Okay. Got those berries. Probably eat them and get horrible diarrhea. I wonder if, if I take out the pickaxe, if I can break this down. No. Okay. Damn. Oh my god, do you see this? Yes, that's a... Bison? Looks like it. Yeah, so Discovered animal bison. spot. Rabbit. Am I just an idiot? No, this is a rabbit, dude. Oh! oh! Yeah, I was about to say, what are you doing? <laughs> that was so loud bison. through my headphones. Oh, he's definitely gonna kill me. I bonked him on the head. Yeah. I, I don't know why I thought I... Those are... Did okay. you die? So not much. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm right back to basically where I was. I just have to collect the straw and then build the foundation again. He, he killed you. Yes. Now you learned me. what it was like to live. You all right? So you've lived a full life as a baby. You just saw what it yeah. was like. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. You go out. You think I'll start my own town, and then you die the next day. Did you ever answer when, when I asked what, what was like the what? average age of somebody in a in a village? Oh, I thought you were asking him. Uh, no. Oh, I don't know. I mean, oh, okay. It depends on the what about like life expectancy? Here. Life expectancy, from what I understand, is actually not too different from ours. Um, if you made it through childbirth. Oh, okay. So if you didn't die immediately upon being born, then you would probably live to be in the Oh, damn. What about, like, malnutrition? Um, you shouldn't really be malnourished. Um, I mean, they that's why they were in communities. Again, though, when I say they, like, it depends on, like, every... That would be like saying, what did Americans eat? Like, like someone from the year 3000 saying, what did Americans eat? Like, well, when? Like the 1930s or the 2030s? Like, yeah. very different, you know? Um, and, and, it, and, and also where? Like, where were they? Like, you mean like a New Yorker? Was a New Yorker eat? Or what does someone from Texas eat? You know, like, they eat differently. Um, 
that's kind of the caveat with the answer to these kinds of questions. It's like, well, Europe is enormous. Um, do you mean like what does an Englishman eat in the in the 1200s, or what does a, a Bohemian eat in the you know 1300s? Or oh, he's back. Yeah, it's completely different. Oh, you can fight him with a sickle. I don't want to try. I can make a spear. Oh, please don't destroy my house. Nice. I really like this wood chopping. Uh, yeah, interface. I, I like that too. Like you just I've never seen a game do it that way. Yeah. Then I got this. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, wait. Edit. So I can do walls with windows, walls or oh, walls with man. door. Well, this is already this already makes sense to have the door here, so probably don't need to be yeah. particular with that. And I like a window facing the back. That's fine. So I can stare at the bison. And I like a window facing forward so I can see the rest of the village. Maybe I'll do a window here and a window here. Or is that too many windows? I'll do th it's winning me thatch. over. This is starting to feel like something I would play. This is this is pretty damn awesome. This is what I wanted the forest to be like. Yeah. This is, this is how I played the forest. I used the forest as a building simulator, but really it's it's really not supposed to be. Yeah. Something. This is all about building. Building a town, building yes. building uh, taverns, people managing. Do you remember what we built in the forest? That needs to be one yeah, of the we, we built. we log back into that world. We built, like, zip lines that will shoot... Uh, entire trees from like one part of the map to oh. another. Give me them sticks. Afraid of that bison. Is that a man? No. Alright, pull out the hammer. Finish this wall. Look yeah, at that. You need, to, you need to show off you need to show off our um, uh, our forest world on your stream. At this yeah. Point. I oh. can't believe what we built. Oh, I need more logs. I I guess I didn't think much of this game originally because all I watched was Alex briefly like throwing some seeds in the ground and that's it. And I was just like, uh, I was like, yeah, that's cool, but I didn't yeah. know you built all this. Like, and I didn't know you managed it too. I didn't know it had that much depth of like people and everything. Oh, dude, check this out. You can remove the stump, so if you don't want it to regrow, I, hope so. I guess by default it regrows. Yeah, that's incredible, the amount of detail. I feel like I'm hearing battle music. I feel like the bison's right behind me. Oh, I can decorate! Dude, wow. the, the amount of things you can do is incredible. This is what you're gonna be doing for us in Miranda's. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the woodsman. Look at this big tree. Hope that yeah. bison's in the distance. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can bring this thing down. Oh, please don't crush my house. Okay, we're good. Feathers and stick. Oh, you get sticks from log, log, berries, log. Ooh. I'm going to try to eat these berries, but they're probably poisonous. Oh, I'm moving very slow. And there's a bison approaching. Okay, I need to drop. Apple. Eat some of this. Daisy dried meat. Let me just dump all my apples on the ground. Oh, I have 20 dried meats. A type of mushroom. Oh, plus 0.5% poisoning. Oat roll. A type of bread. Baked in the oven in the kitchen. Can be consumed. Let me eat that right now. Ooh, 20% poisoning for unripe berry. Just like half. Okay, I can move a little bit faster. Nice. Really worried about that bison. Whoops. I'm moving so slow. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, dude. 
how long would it take for one person to build a house of this size with the resources they had? Uh, uh, just gathering the resources would be a chore. Uh, how long was it? Uh, months. Damn. So my dude is just built different. If they, yeah, if they were working really hard, it would be months. How would new villages get built? Like, would you have people, would you have a lord say, hey, we're, we need you to go build a village? No. So, a lord, so the way a, a lord ruled over his manor, which is just like his house, yeah, which was a big stone castle, typically. And then, um, you know, all the regular buildings of a manor, you got your have a blacksmith, you have a baker, you have a windmill, or a water mill. Usually, no, it would, it would have been a water mill. Yeah, but, uh, and then you got wheat fields and farmers and whatnot. So that was your manor. Um, but it wasn't a town. A town was a, you go get a charter from the king. You, you could just be a regular dude and say, I want to make a town. Um, towns were like, I'm trying to think of like an equivalent way of thinking about it today. Think of like, think of a manor as if like a senator lived there. Like a like a U.S. senator gets a manor, and then, so they live in like a big castle, and there's like they have like little minions who do work for them. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like what a manor was like. A town is like a regular free market individual, like like. It's like it's kind of like starting an LLC. Like you're not a government worker, you're just a dude, and you're like, can I go start a town somewhere? And they say, okay. So towns were like, think of them as separate from the government. Yeah. Uh, like a, a king doesn't start a town. A, a lord doesn't start a town. A regular person starts a town. This is generally speaking. Mm -hmm. And then if a big town builds up somewhere and becomes like a really, really thriving hotspot, they might they might have a house built in it, or just move into you know have have because they typically had more than one house. Yeah. So like if you're the king of France, you could you could live in Paris. You might have a palace in Paris. You might have your manor out in the countryside. You know, kind of like that. So in this game, you're not a lord. You're not a baron or a duke. You're not even a knight. You're just a dude. You're one of those just free market entrepreneurs making his own town. You can start with like a two building village and over uh, 500 years, you end up with Paris. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's how I can, that's kind of how it can work. What was Paris known for initially? Do you know what industry they did? Look up history of Paris. Uh, pure curiosity. Okay, here we go. It dates back to approximately 259 BC. Okay. Uh, when a Celtic tribe settled on the banks of the Seine. Um, it was a fisherman village. There you go. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, what what time period would you guess this pl game is taking place in? I don't actually know. I already looked it up. It's like it's 1080. So. Oh, it's earlier than I thought. It's like smack dab Middle Ages. What would be the difference between this environment and the 1500s? Um, the 1500s. If you play The Witcher, that's very kind of early renaissance the difference between a small town wouldn't actually be that enormous kind of like how the difference between a small town today like if you think what's a small town like in america in today versus 1960 it's like how it's actually kind of similar you? you know what i mean mm -hmm. the big difference is when you go to the city so like a 1500 city would be very different from you know a, a 1000 city um, a, a lot day. of the buildings, because they made them out of stone, they would like tracing, yeah. a lot of buildings just would have been the same. Mm -hmm. it, it, just like it is today. Like you go to England right now, there's buildings that have been there for Goodbye. years. You know, you go to Rome today, and like it, those buildings are still there from 2000 years ago. 
Um, a newcomer. Hello there. But new buildings, the architecture was more elaborate. Like, you, you studied architecture, right? My wares like you never disappoint. A little bit into, like, how it evolved over time. Yeah, a, a little bit. I'm, I'm building up my reputation in this town to get people to come join me in my town. It's, that's pretty damn cool. That's cool. That's, that, is, that is very cool. Yeah. There we go. Dynasty they're reputation gonna, changed. You're gonna, you're gonna convince them. They're gonna go, man, this guy knows he's doing, and they're gonna How are you? like abandon their lives. Yeah. And follow you into the woods and see your one shack and go, oh yep. no, what have I done? This guy's gonna do it to make YouTube content. He looks like he's like a Paul brother, or he he looks like Jake Paul. <laughs> nah, this guy looks like Jake Paul. Jake Paul has the medieval peasant haircut. Yeah. To encourage people to join your village, you need to reach the proper level of dynasty reputation. Now you are ready to find travelers, usually situated around campfires and villages, and invite them to join your new settlement. After welcoming newcomers to your village, you must provide them with basic necessities such as food, water, and firewood, which you can store in the house chests. The villagers will automatically collect what they require after constructing resources and food storages. Residents can be tasked with uh, specific tasks. Matching tasks with workers' abilities will provide better results. Employed workers will gather certain resources, develop different technologies, and boost their own skills. That is amazing. I hope I wasn't supposed to build my first house inside of this town. I just re I just realized I've been muted. I'm sitting here going, which one's the water here? Oh, it's the blue one. Tato, Tato Mir. He is not interested in talking. Again, it was this nice dude, this Carlisle looking dude. Yeah. Dude is a thousand years old. Okay, so I can only recruit people to come join my village if they're situated around a campfire, like these guys over here. But I have a couple of quests, such as this person. So I think this is how I build Dynasty. Dude looks familiar. I can't, I can't place it. It looks like somebody straight out of L.A. Noir deliver some sticks to this person. That should be easy. I've got a million sticks. I need to shut my curtains. It's so bright in this room, I can barely see the screen. Is this... Are you in here? Yeah, you're inside. So would a, a peasant like this kid ever become a knight? Absolutely not. <laughs> that would never happen. You become a knight. <laughs> no, that that would be like saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna be an astronaut." <laughs> it, actually, you'd have a better chance of being an astronaut. There's just rules. Like technically, there's nothing stopping you from being an astronaut. But um, it, okay, how about it would be like saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the British monarch one day." It's like, oh, okay, God. <laughs> that's not how it yeah. works. You, you don't get to say that. That's how it is. You have to be noble. So you've seen Knight's Tale, right? Yeah. yeah, I remember we all yeah. watched it. Uh, remember, he's like, you're not of noble birth. You have yeah. to be noble. And all noble was was a con. Being noble was just a, a big scam. It was like saying, you know, our family is actually like, we're magically different than you. Like, yeah. we are, that, and the word was noble. They're like, well, we got a word for it. It's noble. It just means that we are somehow privileged to have these these you know pathways in life and you just aren't because you're just not noble your name and your blood are not as good as ours that's basically how feudalism worked and and the thing that made everybody go along with that was that you said it's god given like okay. god decided yeah. that we are the winners and you are the losers and and if God said it, you can't argue with it because you're arguing with God. That's basically how it worked. Okay. And then they knighted you after you did years of training, and then they slapped you in the face and said, "That's the last time you get hit without retaliating." That's badass. Um, you you were expected. I was gonna say the homeland, but they didn't really think of it in terms of like the homeland. They they thought of it in terms of their lord, like their one specific lord. Okay. So, Game of Thrones kind of gets that right. Um, you know how, like, when they go to war, a lot of people in the North are like, well, we, we nice support, you. you know, the Starks. We're yeah. not really... I mean, I know we belong to this kingdom, but we belong to the Starks more directly. Um, that's kind of how it was. You would... 
a lord would have knights and those knights were kind of like bodyguards not soldiers they they thought of themselves as like bodyguards to their lord Mm -hmm. and if their lord went to war under a king his knights would come with them but the the knights still thought of themselves as like the lord but an extension of the lord their their specific lord um and if if you've ever wondered why a knight used a sword because like think about 1500 when you're in full plate like you are invulnerable you're a tank Mm -hmm. a sword can't hurt you you know what i mean and you can't hurt another knight using a sword. So why did knights use swords? Do you know why? Because it crowd con- crowd I control do? against people who aren't knights. I don't know. B- basically, if you're in a battle and you're a knight, you're not fighting other knights. You're diving into a pile of ten peasants and just tearing it them was up. Nice seeing like you. that's how it worked. <laughs> That's why they use How'd swords. You do? You're, you're fighting peasants like ten to one, it mm-hmm. was nice and just you. dominating them. So the only thing I'm a little bit stumped on is that my main quest seems to be building my first house, and I think I've built it. Yes, I've, I've noticed that. I think oh. I finished it, and yet it's. Oh well, then your next thing is wait for the next summer. <laughs> no, that that that's just a side quest. I'm trying to progress the main story, okay. and it seems like maybe I didn't fully build that house. But let me get to my village because I've I've recruited a couple people just two, and maybe I can like build a well, build them a house. So here's my house out here. Dude, this is a real life. This is a real life quest. Wait for summer. That's yes. The real life quest I'm in right now. If you were a peasant, that would be your actual quest log. Wait. You go outside, it's freezing. There is no work to be done. Mm-hmm. It's just wait for summer, and then you can go work. Insulation, 50%. Okay. Status, not built. Okay, see? Not built. A type of you house knew you were in trouble place. when your lord said, do something. Okay, this is 100%. It is not done. Status. Manage assignment. What does that mean? Okay, building must be constructed. Let me pull out this. Wait. Oh, my hammer broke. Maybe it isn't done. Okay, I need a log and a stick. I still need a hat. What is a, it that he actually a stick, needed? A wand. I still. Oh, duh, duh. I still need a wand. Oh wait, yeah. Here we. Go. Oh, oh, it isn't done. Jesus. Let me grab these logs. There we go. Look at that. Yo. You finally finished it. This is sick. Look at that. It comes with a bed. And a simple cauldron. Dang. A chest. Dude, this is... This is amazing. The layout's pretty accurate. This this is this would be a typical very very poor person's experience of living. This is how I'm living now. It, it, it the architecture somewhat realistic in that so like a typical medieval peasant would have a one room house. It would just mm-hmm. be one room like this. It wouldn't be like you know multiple rooms and hallways and whatnot. You would sleep. Everyone would sleep in the same bed. The bed would probably just be on the floor. And you'd have a table to eat at, and you'd yeah. have a, a cooking pot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You would cook, eat, and sleep in the house. Okay. And uh, would you have this have rope here hand. to hang yourself? And, yes. And you, you would not have rafters. <laughs> no way. Okay. Um, not, not not like the lowest has, you know, they, they would never. I mean, houses had rafters, but... Um, uh, and your animals would sleep inside with you. Really? So you'd bring in the pigs. Yeah, you would bring in the pigs. And you'd all just be in the house. <laughs> Damn. Because otherwise they just die. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Yeah. I brought over two villagers. Marriage, I don't know where they marriage are. Marriage for peasants. 
marriage between peasants was kind of pointless. Marriage oh. between peasants was what we think of as marriage today. Let me drink some of this swamp water. Look at those water physics. There you go. It's pretty good. Yeah, give them some of that ass it's water. It's crazy how in, in, indie games are more impressive than like AAA games. Yeah. yeah. What would be the toughest time to live in? <laughs> um, <laughs> today. <laughs> today, yeah. Have you seen that picture of Willem Dafoe in the giant trench coat that said the, what the average 12 year old looked like in the industrial age? No. <laughs> uh, being like a chimney sweep in like 1890s England would probably suck. Mm. Living in a town in the 1800s would be worse than living as a peasant in the 1100s in my opinion. Like, people look at those old depression photos of coal mining kids and are like, God, they're filthy. I get, I bet in the Middle Ages they were just, like, completely covered in tar. It's like, well, no, it doesn't get worse as it goes back. It, it like, peaked. Yeah. The, the, the grossness peaked in the industrial age. It's like, oh, yeah, I bet they just, like, crapped in their houses. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> Like, would you do that if I put you in the Middle Ages? What would you do, you know? You'd probably do what they did, which is either crap in the woods, or if you're in a city, you crap in a chamber pot, which is just a bowl. Yeah. And then you dump it in the street. <laughs> you, anywhere that's not in your house. Also, another thing that probably blows people's minds is the Romans had it more figured out than like the English did a thousand years later. Like the Romans had indoor plumbing. Yeah. You know, like like fathom that. Like look at look at what you're building right now. Oh, this is exactly like the forest. Yeah, it is, yeah. This is like straight up they 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 straight up use the same asset, I think, right there. Okay, this is our storage house. Why is it so big? Holy but it seems you're gonna be storing a lot of things. So I'm gonna put the storage between I these two the roads, house and then lived in it. I would have had that be my house. Yeah. So buildings, houses, extraction, farming. I think it was in. Okay, so production. I can't do anything here. Storages. Yeah. All non-consumable -consum resources will be stored here. There are obstacles in the way. Probably should clear this land out first. But there we go. Right off the road. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Between the two roads. Seems like a genius spot. 